In this video, we'll be going over the bottom of 2D matrix approach of edit distance. Let's go over the thought process. So let's convert the top down memorization approach with the to the bottom up approach. Now we're going to ask where do we start? So in the memorization approach, we have cached the current two pointers i and j with the minimal number of operations so we can call it min ops this means we can create a 2d matrix min ops to keep track of the minimal number of operations for all combinations of i and j now let's go over the pseudocode so we're going to create a 2D matrix, min ops. So the rows represent I, the columns represent J, and the values represent min ops, or the minimum, minimum number of operations. And then we're going to iterate through the indices from word one dot length to zero, which is going to be denoted as I. And we can iterate through the indices from word two down length to zero, denoted as j. Now, if i and j are both out of bound, this means there are no more operations left. So we can just continue to next iteration because the minimum number of the default value of min ops i and j will be equal to zero. Then if i is out of bound, the rest of the operations is going to be insertion. So we're going to set min ops i and j to the number of characters we need to insert, which is where two down length minus the current pointer j. And we're going to continue to next iteration. If j is out of bound, the remaining, the remaining characters is going to be deletion. So I'm going to set the minimum number of operations is the number of characters we need to delete. Then we will need to compare the two characters at the two indices. If the two characters at i and j inside word one and word two are the same, this means we just need to move both, move both pointers forward. So I'm going to set minimum ops to the minimum number of operations by moving both pointers forward. So it's i plus 1 and j plus 1. Else we have our three operations. So we're going to set min ops to the smallest value between. The first one is moving both pointers forward. And then moving i forward and moving j forward. And then we also incremented by one. This is because we need to account for the current operation. Now let's go over. Oh, for that we gotta return the min, the minimum number of operations if both pointers started from zero. So min op zero zero. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So time complexity is m n, where m n are the length of the two input strings. This is the nested for loop. Space complexity is also MN, which is the min ops matrix. Now let's go over the code. So we are going to create our min ops matrix. Where the one dot length and where two dot length. And we're going to iterate through the indices from word one down length to zero. And then we're going to iterate through the indices from word two down length to zero. Now, if both of the indices are out of bound, this means we have no more operations left. We can just continue to next iteration. Now, if 
if i is out of bound this means remaining re remaining operations are only for our only insertion so min ops i and j will be where two down length minus minus j we could continue to the next iteration then if j is out of bound the minimum number of operations is only going to be deletion so it's word one down length minus i then we're going to compare the two characters at the two indices If the characters are the same, we can f we can find a number of minimum minimal number of operations by moving both pointers forward. So it's i plus one, j plus one. Else, we want to find the minimal number of operations between the three type of operation we can make, which is the insert, delete, and replace. Do not forget to increment by one to account for the current current operation. And then we can return min ops when the both pointers start from zero. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. In the next video, we'll be going over the bottom-up array approach of edit distance.